Hello, and welcome to Old Toy, New Joy, the show where I share with you my previously enjoyed toys I purchased from online sources, thrift stores, and collector shows that once belonged to someone else. Today, Jelly Bean and I are going to talk to you about this Smart Gear 201 Retro Arcade Portable Game Console that I picked up from a thrift store last week. Mint in the box. So when I was a teenager, I used to go to this place called Wonderland. And it was an arcade that also had a couple of mini golf or mini putt courses. And I would go there with my friends, usually on Friday or Saturday night, to meet girls and to spend my quarters at the arcade. I do not consider myself a serious gamer, but even today, as an adult, I do enjoy partaking in the occasional retro video game. I have myself a mini Nintendo classic. I also still have my PS2 and I do have some retro games on that. I do not um, enjoy the new modern 3D games like Jilly Bean does. I like the look and the feel and the sounds of the 80s games. So I was very excited to find this um, little mini arcade that is supposed to have 200 games installed on it uh, for about seven dollars. Uh, this was only made a couple years ago. I think you can still get it new online from various sources for 40 or 50 dollars and people are selling used versions uh, for less on Kijiji and places like that. But this one's brand new. Uh, Jilly Bean and I are gonna take a quick look at the box then we're gonna open it up, put some batteries in and see what these 200 games are like. I don't know if these games are name code games or games we're familiar with, or they're all sort of made up. Or maybe they're newer games. Maybe they're newer games that are made to look like old games. They're supposed to be um, in color, and uh, they're supposed to be a multi direction joystick, two game action buttons, restart, volume. Um, so we'll see. We'll see just how good it is. All right, so let's take a quick look at the box here. It says it's by Smart Gear. When I try to do some research online, I don't get much. It also attributes JL Gear to making this. Uh, I don't even get a list of the games on there. I'm not sure why. Online or on the box. It just says it's fast-paced gaming with full-color graphics. Well, that's good. It's got a few screenshots of games, but I don't recognize them myself. But it looks like there's um, a little bit of everything. Shooting, racing, sports. There's a nice shot of what we're going to get inside. So I guess maybe somebody got this as a gift and never opened it up. Then it got donated to the thrift store. I don't know, but it's ours now. We're going to play with it. You ready, Jilly Bean? Yes. All right, let's crack this open. So there's not much in the way of instructions. This basically tells us what each of the controls are for, and how to put the batteries in. That's about it. That's all you really need to know. Uh, very nice, smart looking little uh, mini arcade cabinet. Just like the big ones that I used to play on as a teenager. And not unlike A couple of these slightly older ones that I purchased from a thrift store over the last few years. They are only for one game each. This one's got 200. But again, these are well-known patented games that have been around for decades. I don't know what's on this guy. So we're going to put some batteries in. And then Jilly Bean is going to try out some of the games. Sound good, Jilly Bean? Yeah. Okay, so... 
This toy takes three AA batteries. I chose uh, Panasonic Alkaline Plus Powers, which are good for toys. Jelly Bean's just going to open up the, the back battery compartment and we'll pop three batteries in. One screw in the back. Ready, tiny. There's a power button on the back. Right there, go ahead. Whoa, ho, ho. this is nice. That's in color and everything. That looks good. So, F22 Racing. Racing Fighter, Vanguard, Animal Blockers, Magic, Joey, Aerial Warfare, Crystal Ball, Police, Dog, Lassie? Oh, there's a lot of games on here. I don't um, really recognize these games. So, Submarine. Vigilante, Warzone. So, Julie Bean, you're just going to have to kind of randomly pick a handful of them and try them out. Okay. Wonder Ball, Movie Box, Fish War. I'll do puzzle. Fish War. I mean, any, yeah, any names that you think sound interesting, we'll try them. So, uh, Julie Bean and I are just going to look through the menu Pizza Boy, Octopus Sea, and then and there's also some card games and stuff Texas Hold'em and that, Checkers, Dice. Um, all over the place. They're not even alphabetical. Metromania. Okay, we're going to pick up some games and then we'll try them out.
Well, that was fun. Uh, with over 200 games, I could see it would taking hours and hours just to explore each game and figure them out, and then even more hours to decide which games you want to play and which games you're going to get good at. Um, great value. Some of the games are definitely better than others, and some are just sort of rehashed versions of the same game, but lots and lots to do. Um, lots of fun. Would highly recommend the Smart Gear 201 Retro Arcade. So thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please like the video, and we will keep them coming. In the meantime, I encourage you to watch other episodes of Old Tono Joy. There might be something that you like, something you see, something that reminds you of your childhood, something you might want to start collecting, like sports cards, comics, Star Wars, Masters of the Universe, Hot Wheels, Transformers, wrestling figures, G.I. Joe, Ninja Turtles, Pogs, Marbles, and much, much more. Until next time, this is your Toy Whisperer saying farewell from Old Toy, New Joy.